million voices sing out to me You say my soul was cast in stone Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another little movie the time we're gonna set me In today's video we're going to do some uh, beadlocks from Boom Racing The Crate So let's start by opening the packages We also got Proline Hyrax tires I heard this was the bomb to have so why the hell not The tires on my uh, Traxxas uh, TRX4 completely done Ooh, that smell! It smells so bad! Smell it! I don't know the rubber or something, but it smells really bad. Bam, bam. That's the Hyrax from Proline. And now for the fun part, I can juggle! And I get the three master tires! Just take a look at those. So goddamn beautiful. They're pretty heavy too. On the next video, I'll be showing how to put on some brass knuckle weights. And these are 82 gram each. Stay tuned for the next video. We are going to show you how to put on the brass knuckle weights with 82 grams each. Stickers, always nice to have some stickers. I actually have no idea what these things are. One tire down. Uh, I actually didn't know this, but I thought that uh, this was like real true beadlocks or something. That you open all these screws, but you actually don't. On this one you open these five screws in the back and then you just put it together. So it was really easy. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I start by taking out all the screws in the back here. What am I doing? Oh my god, what's happening? It doesn't work! Why can't I open it? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. But the boom racing crates, beadlocks, ribs. So when you're taking out these five uh, screws, Take out the back part, take out the ring middle part, and here you have it. It actually looks pretty good. Then you take a tire, take the ring, you push the ring inside of the tire. Really easy. So it's in the middle of the foam. I don't know how good you can see that, but it's inside of the middle right now. Then I take the front part, I push it in. Like so. I then take the back part, try to get it as smooth as possible to the other holes on the front. And when you feel you're pretty much in uh, the same uh, direction, take the screws, put them back, one by one. One by one, one by one, one by one, we're stepping out the bubble line. One by one, one by one. If they are not lined up, just try to squeeze it a little bit so they are pretty much lined up. This is the important part. The important part is to loosen screws by putting it... Oh, oh yeah, I didn't mean that. Okay. So then you take the screwdriver, you watch it so it's aligned. You just pull in like two, three threads, nothing more. Then you take the next one, watch so everything is aligned. Three threads, nothing more. Then you just, when you've got all them in, just go around. You're not gonna to screw one down immediately, tighten it down. You just go a little bit at a time. And why we are doing this is because uh, we want the rim to be as symmetrical as possible. It doesn't get any bumps or anything. This was really easy. Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another little movie. I don't know if I said that before. Anyway, I said it twice now and I can juggle. And I get so we got two tires down. This is one old Traxxas tire. That's the difference between them. This one is dirty. This one is not. You can see that the pattern is pretty much the same. So I think the Hyrax might stolen the pattern from the Traxxas, or the Traxxas is stolen the pattern from the Proline. 
You can see that this has a rotation, this doesn't. Two down, two more to go. If there is anything more that you're wondering about, just put it down in the comments down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider to subscribe because uh, I have a lot of content and I'm coming out with many things, more things. I can't really talk. If you like my videos, hit that like button, share it to a couple of friends. I know I would. Why shouldn't you? Again, you take the middle ring, you push it in the middle of the tire in the foam. You take the front part, push it in so it's like really tight and nice in there. You take the back part and align the holes so it matches the holes on the front. If you can uh, turn it around when it's inside the tire too, it's a little bit harder, but it can be done. One, two, three, four. Four little tires going on to the Bronco. So here you have the new tires and rims. Here you have the old tires and rims. So, bam! What do you like most? Bam! Ah! Bam! Ah! Bam! Ah! I really love these because they're like darker. It goes well with the body. Thank you very much for watching this little video or this long video. And if you liked it, put a thumbs up, share, and if you're not subscribing, please consider to subscribe. Bye bye! Only a part of the whole. But the mess has a pause and a breeze with me.